Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. This is going to be my fails and regrets that I got throughout the year 2017. So if you guys are curious to see what I kind of regretted getting and purchasing, keep on watching. This is like last minute thing. I was rushing around thinking, you know what, I want to get two videos up before we get into the new year. So I do, I have just like my hockey jersey on. I'm chilling out, relaxing with you guys. And I thought, you know what? I mean, I did put makeup on and everything, but sometimes this is just how I run around the house and just put on, you know, like one of my hockey jerseys or t-shirts. I don't always wear a dressy top or anything like that. And yeah, I just want you guys to feel cozy, sit down, relax have your coffee and tea or other beverage, whatever you are going to be drinking and just sit down and relax and join me in the next couple of videos that I'll have up this week. So I'm doing my regrets and kind of fails or something like that for this year, 2017. The next video will be more of what our standouts. My other one's going to be called standouts. I also wanted to say I hope everybody had a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, or Happy Hanukkah, um, whichever it is that you, how you, however you celebrate that day. I hope you guys enjoyed yourself with your family, loved ones, friends. Just, you know, like if, I hope you guys all enjoyed yourself. Uh, here we had a really nice little small get together, Christmas Eve, as you know, I always say is usually our time of when we do our Christmas get together. So yeah, my daughter, my granddaughter came over. Now my daughter actually got a house. Uh, most of y'all know about that. If you follow me on Facebook anyway, she, she's literally only like three doors down, literally like three doors down. So I don't have far to go to babysit now whenever I'm going over there or just to visit whatever. Uh, later tonight, I'm thinking possibly I might go over just to peek and see what she got for Christmas, you know, see how all that turned out. Let's go ahead and get into the product fails and regrets. I have some hair care. Um, honestly, I'm not always big into Garnier hair products. I had mentioned that. Their skin care, I get impressed with. Their hair care, I don't a lot of times. And this is coconut oil and cocoa butter. And I did feel like... I liked it, you know, it, it was, it was nice, you know, it wasn't bad or anything. I did share it in a video uh, of what I was liking and while they do, it's a smoothing shampoo and conditioner, while they do feel nice, I just regret getting them in a sense because I don't really gravitate to them that much. Uh, I have certain favorites that I really enjoy, but I kind of regret getting them now. And I definitely won't be picking up any more from, from this line with Garnier. Like I said, just sadly, hair care for me and Garnier just, I don't like their hair care products so much. But skincare, yes. Skincare products, I had purchased this a while back ago, and it's from the company Skin Food Pineapple Peeling Gel. And it's from the Skin Food Company. And you can get them at Ulta, a lot of their products, skin food. And I thought, oh, this sounds wonderful. It's a pineapple peeling gel. It's Korean, you know, it's skincare. I'm, I, I don't, I don't like it as much as the body shop one. And it's one of them ganache, you know, like where you just take it, put some on and, and you scrub away and it kind of exfoliates your skin and, and along with it, some of your, uh, you know, dead skin can be removed and everything. And this one I don't really like too much. So I feel like it's a fail and a regret in one. I'll use it up, but I just don't feel like it does the job like the Body Shop one does. Interesting, because the Body Shop is more expensive than this one. I think this was like around $10, $12 or something. Because Skin Food does have some reasonably prices for their, you know, the skincare line. So it kind of ended up being a fail and regret. Yeah. This here is from the company Danielle LaRoche, and I do have a serum. It's a stem cell serum that I love. I really love it. I think it works really great. Uh, I don't know. I just, I felt like I noticed some uh, improvement with my skin when I was using it. I'm actually out of it now. 
I will be having an empties video, my first empties video coming up, so look for that. The Daniel LaRoche Plant Stem Cells uh, Eye Lifting Serum, eh, it was okay. I didn't really see no lifting or felt like it was really doing anything. So I probably won't repurchase this if I see it. I mean, it's, it was a pretty good price, $6, because Daniel LaRoche is pretty pricey uh, when you look into him. And I know a couple other one, uh, others mentioned his brand. But, and I will get more from this brand. It's just this one here I won't repurchase again. So it was kind of a fail. Yeah. yeah a makeup brush. <laughs> and I can't believe because I was like so loving this brush. And then later as I was using it and I cleaned it, it didn't, now it could be in air, my air. So mind you, it could be that, but I'm just not really feeling this brush anymore. It is this brush here that I got in TJ Maxx. It's one of the rounded brush, which actually you can see that it could be my error in cleaning it. I don't know. Maybe I did something wrong. So take that to note. It could be that. <clears throat> if it didn't do this, it's possible I still might like this uh, brush. But for me now, I feel like it was a complete fail. I even see um, a a lifted hair there a little bit. I really liked this at first, you know, I thought because it is pretty durable, but they are cheap and, and I still would probably purchase some other ones. I forget what company this was from now, iBeauty or something like that, but I kind of regret getting it now. I can't even use it anymore. I'm going to try and clean it one more time, see if I can fix it, but I can't even use it. These are regrets and I heard so many people rave over these, especially the one. It is the e.l.f. highlighter in Moonlit Pearls. I heard all these YouTubers, big YouTubers, small YouTubers, everyone's like raving over this highlighter saying it, they were actually duping it for Whisper of Guilt, which is so popular, it came out just recently with the Christmas uh, MAC collection. And I was like, oh, I want to get this, you know, three bucks. Yeah, you know. Now somebody said you have to keep scraping the top layer off to actually get to the product. And everything but yeah I'm just not seeing it like everybody else is um, like when I'm swatching it there you can kind of see a decent amount but when I was trying to do it any other way I wasn't I wasn't getting the payoff I wasn't impressed but I kind of regret getting this because I have a lot of highlighters I went highlighter mad this year especially this is one I definitely regret buying I don't really feel like it was even worth three dollars. I hate to say that, but I don't. This one here is um, rose gold, and it's a blush and highlight duo. I got a little bit better payoff from this highlighter than I did the other one. I just kind of regret getting them because I don't feel like they hold up to par as what I was hoping I would get. This highlighter to me is a fail. Now I'll scrape and see you know, but I still feel like I'll probably regret because I, do, I feel like I'll I have other highlighters that I don't have to feel like I, I waste product to scrape, you know, I, you're, I feel like I don't have to like waste product and scrape off. I don't feel like you should have to do that, put it that way. So it will still probably be a fail because of that reference, because I feel like you shouldn't have to do that just to get the payoff that you want to get. This I totally regret getting because I have both of them and I did share this and it's the duo. Now, if you don't have any of the blushes or anything from Hard Candy, then yes, this is worth it because I don't even think they sell them in singles anymore. And I was saying, I believe it doesn't list it here because I kept looking. This one is the Baby Doll, Baby Doll or oh, I still can't remember. And I know this one's Honeymoon. So if you already have like Honeymoon and Baby Doll, you really don't need this if you have the singles. I don't think they have the singles anymore, but now I regret kind of getting it. You know, I'll still probably use it and if I go somewhere I can I'll have because this I consider more of a highlight more than a blush. You know, and they are lovely. They're beautiful. It's not that they don't work. They're beautiful. They work much better than the elf. Much better than the elf. It's just I regret getting it because I already had the singles and it didn't mention on the packaging the name and I thought, oh those look so pretty. Yeah, if you have them in singles, then, you know, yeah, it's not worth getting these. This mascara, I shared it a while back ago, and I purchased it because I thought, oh, I never really tried any Revlon mascaras. And it's the Revlon Mega Multiplier. And I forget, mine's in like some kind of unique color. 
if I can even remember because I don't think it says even on my packaging. Phenol complete. I'm going to use it, but I think how I'm going to use it is just for my lower lash line area. That's what I'm going to do to try to use it up so I don't feel like uh, I totally wasted money or anything like that. But you know, the brush isn't bad. It's not one of the plastic kind of brushes. It is a good uh, bristle. You can actually see the shininess, so it is a wet mascara, in case you want to know. It is wet, but it did nothing for my lashes. Nothing. Nothing. Like, I just, I didn't like, so this is actually regret and fail. This, like I said, I was going on a highlighter craze this year. The only reason why I did purchase this, though, was to get my free standard shipping and handling, and it was from the company Pure Cosmetics. And this is the uh, Elevation uh, Highlighter. It's like a highlighter, basically. It's like you get three highlighters in here. You can see I kind of almost whatever in this one. You know, and they're they're lovely. Not that they're not. I mean, and it was fifteen dollars, so that's not too bad either. But I don't know. I just re kind of regret getting it because I feel like. I have so many highlighters, I really didn't need this. I mean, maybe I should have gra gravitated to something else when I was on there to get the free shipping and handling, or just paid, whatever, because it was when I was trying to get the Trolls palette, you know, and I really enjoyed that cute little palette. So I cannot believe I'll have a lipstick regret in here. It's not that it does not work. It's not that I don't like it. I love the formula and all that kind of stuff. It is just the color and I regret getting it and the only reason why I got it was because of the packaging and everything and it is from the Urban Decay uh, the heat collection or whatever you know when the heat pet the palette came out that lipsticks the eyeliners which I really do like the eyeliner I got because it was unique and different it's of a burgundy shade this I totally got for the packaging for one I was like oh you know like I really love that gorgeous packaging and it is it's beautiful uh the other colors did not call my name they just weren't calling my name none of them were but i thought well i'll get this one because it's more of a neutral shade you know and you know like sometimes you'll see other people put an item on and it looks good on them but it's not going to look so good on you and this one is in the uh fuel it's a cream uh cream lipstick i mean you would think it would look good on my lips because it's not like that total concealer lip look for me I don't like that it doesn't look good and when you see it on my hand you'd think oh yeah Lori like what what's wrong with it it's it doesn't show much. like I even have a neutral shade on now and you still can see hmm, you can see my lips decent this one here, I feel like it almost does camouflage my lips though still, even though it's not that concealer lip. So yeah, it every time I try putting it on and trying to wear it alone, it doesn't go well alone. Now it's not gonna go into waste because I will probably put it in between, like in the center of some of my lipsticks and kind of blend it out a little bit with some more darker colors. Sometimes people do that and I've learned that, yeah, you can do that, but I kind of regret too, it's $17. And while I think their lipsticks are $70, and while that's not as expensive as $30 and up like some other lipsticks, it is still pricey in a lipstick family. But yeah, it's disappointing because I, I mean, the color is, it's not bad. It's a pretty color. It's almost a peach nude color. It just didn't, maybe if it was more pink, maybe it was more pink nude, maybe it would have been better for me. Me and my gold eyeshadows. Can I just say I <laughs> have plenty of gold eyeshadows, but I love the beautiful gold colors. I don't know. I don't really quite have gold on today, but uh, I don't know. I just, I went mad in the colors with the oranges and the golds and even the berries, you know, of course, the, the popular colors that we're seeing now, burgundies and stuff, but gold, yes, on my eyelids, honest to goodness, but it does flatter my eyes. That's the thing. It does flatter my eyes very well. Maybelline came out with their new formula with some of their eyeshadows. And this is the expert wear. This one's called Gold School. So this is Gold School and it's in their singles. Can I just say, guys, mm -mm. like I even wet it and it didn't look bad wet. I did get it to work wet. But as I got to thinking about it more and more, you know, like, I mean, it does come off somewhat on my, when you do a swatch, I'll put it like I had to double that. So mind you, I 
dipped twice in there, but you know, like right there it is. You have to kind of, you, you would have to wet this. I got this, like I said again, obviously, because I knew it was gold and I thought, oh yes, I am getting that because I want to, you know, make a look with it. And I did, and then, like I said, I wet, I did wet and it, it didn't look bad. It turned out quite nice. It did turn out nice, but I regret because I have so many gold eyeshadows and I thought, I have a gold like that in some of my palettes. I could have just, you know, so yeah, it's like a regret purchase and a fail actually. Cause this came in my boxy charm, but I'm concerned. I don't think I'm going to use it as much. So in a sense, I did purchase it because it did come in my boxy charm because I, you know, purchased my boxy charm, get it every month. And it is actually the Rainforest of the Sea volume, yeah, volume two in these, and it's beautiful packaging. And I was excited when this was coming because I thought, well, I haven't tried these kind of eyeshadows from them. I've tried other ones. For me, it's a hit and miss, honestly, with her eyeshadows. Like, I love their brushes and all those kind of things, but their eyeshadows, it's always a hit and miss for me. And that's kind of why I haven't fully gone full-blown buying some of their eyeshadow palettes. This one here, I mean, I just don't feel like I'm going to pull this out that much. I just don't. I might end up just giving it away to somebody or taking it to the women's shelter or something like that. And they're, they are beautiful. They don't do too bad on the eyes. I did do a look with it. I just think it's going to be one of those palettes that's just going to sit there and not get used up as what I would hope it would. And the last one, ugh, like I had to think long and hard on this one. I'm going to say this right now. It's not that I don't like the shadows. It's not that I don't like the company. I'm, again, it comes down to the colors. Like, I feel like I have the same colors in other palettes and later I did regret getting it. And then I'll also explain another thing of why, and I'll update you on stuff. Okay. It is the color pop semi precious palette. I just got this. I showed you guys this in a not long far off haul and the colors are amazingly gorgeous they are beautiful they are beautiful i mean you got um some like rose gold you have almost like a silver color some cranberries gold like i said there you go got the gold again so you got and a lot of these colors i do like there's a beautiful bronze shade here or something but a lot of these colors the only one that's kind of sort of a little bit unique is this one here and the other thing is, is they are all shimmer. There's no matte in this palette at all. So I only put shimmer on my eyelids, as you can see, like when I work in on my eyes anymore, anymore, like once in a while, once in a while, I have put shimmer in my crease maybe or somewhere in there. That's once in a while. Not very much often do I do that now. I usually use mostly all matte shades for except when I go onto my eyelid and that's it. My brow bone area, a lot of times I don't. Once in a while, maybe if I did a whole matte look and then just to brighten up there a little bit, sometimes I do. Um, but this is just all shimmer. Here's the other thing of why I'm concerned of when I, after I ordered it, because I was like, why did you do that? You should wait. And it was because that was a limited edition and I loved the colors and I seen Miss Laura uh, Lola Lanshare and, and it did look beautiful. But here's the thing. I'm not sure yet. So I am testing the waters. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm testing the waters. I want to see if there's a possibility I have a allergic reaction to the ColourPop pressed eyeshadows. And here's why. There's two reasons why I don't know if, if it is possible or not. One, obviously the pressed eyeshadows have different ingredients than the ones in the pots because, you know, like, you know, obviously they have to use different ingredients to make them a pressed eyeshadow, you know, and I was trying to see like the ingredients in the pressed eyeshadows and everything. When I got the palette that's supposed to be like the dupe, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of it, but the, you know, the one I showed that a lot of people compare it to the dupe to the Natasha Denona uh, sunset palette. When I wore that a couple different times, I did. I was having problems with the swelling on my eyelids, and it got so bad where I couldn't wear makeup for a whole few weeks. Like people were tagging me in some videos, and I was uh, up for some collabs even, and I was concerned. I said, "Heads up! I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or get it done because my eyelids are swollen." 
like both of them were swollen. Now, I do get a lot of allergies, especially in fall is my worst nightmare. Sometimes spring it can be too, spring and fall, but fall is really when I get terribly bad sometimes. And my eyes do pay, play a huge role for my allergies. I have experienced the swelling on my eyelids lots of different times uh, due to my allergies. I've had um, uh, in the whites of my eyes, I've actually got like um, that gooky, gooby as I call it, like eye boogery stuff and what, you, know, you know what I mean, the gooby stuff and it's even turned yellow like where it's a discharge. You know, I get real bad sinus allergies with my eyes. I'm going to be testing the waters. I have not used any of those pressed eyeshadows. I used that palette once and when I did, I thought possibly the swelling in my eyelid was coming back. Now, I'm going to test it and see. This is possible. It could just be allergy related and that's it. But we'll see because I am going to try and wear the shadow palette here within the next week and see what happens. And if it does, oh, that will so disappoint me because they are gorgeous eyeshadows, gorgeous. The payoff, the pigment, I wouldn't say anything bad on that part. But if I'm allergic, obviously, I'll never be able to get. So afterwards, I thought, is this going to be even more of a regret? And I should have thought that through. We shall see, and I'll let you guys know. Hey okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Um, let me know what you guys, have you guys found any fails? Like what was your fail? Maybe what was your biggest fail this year you felt or regret that you bought? You know, it doesn't even have to be beauty related. You can tell me what, you know, like, oh, you know, what, what was it? So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate that. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. That helped me out so much. And also, if you're not subscribed to my channel, come and join me. I'd love to have you. Do try to have the videos up every week. And uh, so yeah, hit the subscribe button and also the bell. Make sure you hit that bell that's next to the subscribe button. And that will notify you in the emails of when my videos and my new videos are uploaded and ready to watch. And as always, viewers, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you take care. I will see you then. I love you guys. Mwah. Bye.